Hey guys, are you ready for me to vlog? What I want to talk to you about is school pictures. In pretty much every TV show, there's always one episode when they have to take a school picture. And there's always that person that's stressing out and they go through all this stuff to get out of the way from disaster and it just makes everything worse. And you'd always have to worry if you had any acne or how your hair was and make sure you look nice. But nowadays, they Photoshop you. Yeah. They Photoshop our school pictures. There's literally an option. It's like, do you want to Photoshop this? And they like get rid of your blemishes and fix your hair so if something's sticking up, it'll be gone. They'll just get like cut out of the picture. I think that's good and ridiculous at the same time. The good thing is, you don't have to worry that much about having acne the day before pictures. You're like, crap, now I have a bunch of pimples. But then you have no problem because they're just gonna edit them out. But the other thing is like, really? Photoshop on school pictures? That's not good. This is what the world has come to. We need to Photoshop even our school photographs of our children and ourselves. Not really our children because no one watches my videos that are like mothers or fathers. So, never mind. So every picture you see in school yearbooks, they're not real, they're Photoshop. Just kidding, your school might not do that, I'm not entirely sure. But last year I think they had it, and it cost like an extra $10. But this year I think they do it without anything. And I was like, what? Yeah. Opposite day. You know how when you were a little kid, you always used to be like, eh, it's the opposite day, just cuz. And there was always the opposite day when you would just like walk backwards and wear your clothes backwards. And then there'd be that awkward other opposite day when everything you said would be the opposite. So if I said yes, I would mean no. But for some reason, they were never both at the same time. Maybe you guys had them both at the same time, but I didn't. But what's really confusing, there is no such thing as opposite day. Opposite day cannot physically exist. Because if you say it's opposite day, on opposite day it becomes not opposite day, which cancels out opposite day. But then when you say it's not opposite day, it's just not opposite day. Therefore, opposite day can never exist. <sighs> Inception. Not really. Confusion. But Inception sounds better. Inception. <laughs> what bothers me is when I'm on the road and I see people texting and driving. It makes me so upset and so angry and just don't do that. I think most of you aren't even driving yet. Word of advice, please, please don't text and drive. It is one of the stupidest things you can ever do and you really don't want to waste your life on just sending a text message to someone. If you really need to text someone, pull over and text them or just wait until you get home. It's not that important. And if it is, call them on the phone. The one thing that I admit I do all the time is if I look at all my subscriptions, if any of them are longer than five minutes, I won't watch them. I, I just can't because I get bored. Unless I'm like obsessed with them, I won't even give it a chance because it's over five minutes. That's pretty much it. Someone's gonna ring my doorbell any second now because I just saw them drive by, so I'm gonna say goodbye. It's been nice chatting with you guys. Bye!